Hi there, I'm Jessalyn. This is my first episode for the series. I'm the developer advocate for Chrome DevTools. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 85. First up, you can now edit the styles created with the CSS object model, CSS OM APIs. Many CSS in JS frameworks use these APIs under the hood to construct styles. Here we got a page with a title and a button. These are the CSS in JS code of the button that change the title background to pink color. Click on the button. Right click and inspect the title. You can now edit the background color in the style pane. This style were not editable previously. Next up, Lighthouse is upgraded to version 6, which includes additional audits, three new metrics, and a newly composed performance score. Two of these new metrics added are largest contentful pane, LCP, and cumulative layout shift, CLS. LCP measures perceived loading experience. It measures when the page primary content has loaded and is visible to the user. It had replaced first meaningful pane, FMP, which will no longer be shown in Lighthouse and the performance panel. CLS measures how much a page content visually shifts around. Both LCP and CLS are the lab implementations of the Core Web Vitals, an initiative by Google to provide quality signals to help you deliver great user experiences on the web. Check out web.dev slash vitals to find out more. The third new metrics, Total Blocking Time, TBT, measure the time when the main thread was blocked to prevent input responsiveness. It is a lab measurement proxy for first input delay, FID, which is another core web vital. With these new metrics, the performance score formula has been reweighted to better reflect the user's loading experience. Go to the link in this video description to learn more about Lighthouse updates. DevTools now has better support for some of the latest JavaScript language features. Property auto-completions in the console now supports optional chaining syntax. Here I have an object rabbit. When typing, now you can see a list of auto-complete suggestions. Private class fields are now syntax highlighted and pretty printed in the source panel. In our example here, ID is a private field and it is syntax highlighted properly now. DevTools now pretty prints the knowledge coalescing operator as well. Click to pretty print our sample code here. The code is formatted properly. Here is a bonus tip of a lesser known feature in DevTools. Use snippets to save a set of frequent use console commands and execute them quicker via the command menu. Go to the source panel Create a new snippet to log an input parameter. Hit Ctrl S or Command S in Mac OS to save the snippet. Now go to the Elements panel, select an element. Click Ctrl O or Command O in Mac OS to open the command menu. Type exclamation mark and select the snippet that we have just created. See the element value is now logged in the console. There are more new features in Chrome DevTools 85. Find out more in our blog post. The link is provided in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 86.